Uh, Rick, tough week, I guess, given what happened at the weekend. Yeah, it has been. You know, we haven't done a lot so far yet. Obviously, we only played on Sunday. We've done a bit of recovery and get a chance to sort of get out on the training pitch today. Um, yeah, good to get a couple of senior players back. That's nice. Um, and looking forward to the contest against Leeds. I guess we look at when we get the squad list. We look at them and see how strong they are. And when we see a lot of numbers, twenty and upwards, we think oh, there's a lot of injuries. You've been hit by injuries quite tough at the minute, aren't you? Well, we have, mate, to be honest, you know, after the third or so round, you know, you know we played Hull, I think, in the fourth round or whatever, with 13 senior players out, and things are pretty much similar and haven't improved a lot since then, so I've been struggling the whole time, you know, uh, injury numbers are high, and look, you've got to get a little bit of luck with injuries, but there's a bit of management involved in that as well. Um, but, but generally, once you start using over 30 players this early in the year, generally if you use 30 plus players for the whole year, you're going to struggle. But we'll use 30 players basically by round five, and it's been tough for us ever since. Is it a question of buttoning down the hatches now, Rick, and not overreacting and, and working towards the end goal rather than looking too short term? Well, that's probably fair comment. You know, I think we'll, like, think, yeah, we'll, we'll get some of those players back. Um, Obviously, we let Brian really go. There's a possibility of bringing some people in, and we're sort of um, looking at that avenue at the moment. Um, but the main thing is, whoever gets a chance to play, has got to do their absolute best. You know, represent the jump with pride and making sure that they do their job and, and not try and overcomplicate things too much. Isaac Farrell's come in, he's signed a new professional contract. What are you expecting from him, or what you hope for him longer term? Oh yeah, Isaac's a really good kid, you know, got a chance to train the full-time boys this year in, in, in off-season and even though he was the first to admit that it was really tough, it, it did him the world of good and, you know, with blokes like Chris Thorman and Luke Robinson around, Danny Bruff, he's got a lot of good teachers as far as um, halfbacks in the club go and he's, he's thirsty for information, Isaac, he's trying to take everything in and been really, really impressed with him in our academy game so far this year. His composure, his kicking game and his game management have been good. You know, he's the first to admit it wasn't perfect last weekend and I know he'll improve on that. Um, you know, he, he can have a, a little bit more active role um, at training at the moment and hopefully he can play a few more games as well. And you mentioned Ryan Brill. Is it going to get a little bit easier, do you feel, to bring players in now the Easter period's gone? Although I guess we've got another one at the, in May, haven't we? Another double weekend because players are reluctant, uh, sorry, clubs are reluctant to let players go at that time of the year, generally. Yeah, look, it is a tough period. And, you know, you're looking to rotate and use as much as you want as you can, you know, during that period. Um, you, know, you know, we'll look far and wide. I think if we get the right bloke, we'll bring someone in. If we don't get the right bloke, we may not bring anyone in. And we're not going to bring someone in for the sake of bringing someone in as a number. So it's it's something that's probably ongoing, but there's been a little bit of uh, opportunity created you know, in, in the last little bit. And looking at the aims for the club for the season, have they changed slightly given all the injuries that you've had? Oh, look, we're, you know, we're definitely not throwing in the towel at this point. There's, there's a long way to go here. And, you know, we've been... A little bit unlucky, you know, not quite getting the rub of the green in the last four to five weeks. You know, been close a few times. You know, we probably disappointed ourselves against Catalan and, you know, we probably played good enough against Warrington a couple of weeks ago. We had a draw with Saints, we had a draw with Wigan, you know. So we're, we're not that far away, but, um, you know, the more senior players we get back will help us because, you know, they'll be able to manage those game situations when it's coming down the stretch, when the, when the scores are close. And younger players generally have still learned a little bit about that sort of situation. So that's that's something that we've, we've got to manage a bit better. And we've um, um, yeah, we've got, we've got to come up with a result pretty soon for ourselves and our fans and everyone involved in the club. But at the same time, we've got to be realistic about our expectations considering the amount of injuries we've got in the club. Uh, you mentioned some of the uh, results you've had away from home, obviously a bit of Wigan, St Helens picked up a point, very unlucky at Warrington the other week, you're going away again to Leeds, um, what are your expectations from Leeds as a team? Yeah look I've, I've never been to Leeds, we've played them a couple of times now but I haven't had the chance to go over there but looking forward to going over to Italy, um, you know, obviously seen enough of their games on TV to, to realise it's you know a great fan base, it's a good atmosphere. It's a big rugby league town and they're pretty proud of their tradition over there. And dangerous footy team, got plenty of strike, got plenty of points. Um, 
So, you know, we'll, we've got to go over there. And you know, we weren't great with our edge D last week. And, you know, it's something that we've struggled with a little bit all year, mainly because you know, we didn't have a lot of outside base fit and available come in the off season, to be honest. But, um, yeah, we're chasing our tail a little bit there. And, need to improve that area of the game. Like most clubs, we probably haven't uh, had a lot of chance to train over the last few weeks. You know, it's our fifth game in 20 days, so it's 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 at the end of a pretty long haul, and we've taken a few bumps and bruises as we've gone along, like everyone else. Uh, but still, the Leeds opportunity excites everyone, and yeah, looking forward to going there and looking forward to the contest. It's generally been a good contest in recent years in Super League, no matter where either side has been on the ladder. And, and even at home, it was a game maybe you could have won on, on another day if you'd have taken your chances. Yeah, we made too many mistakes that day. Leeds held their composure a bit better than us, but I think historically, after, over the last four or five years, that you know, the Giants have had good success against Leeds, and um, they. You can see the difference in their attitude sort of leading up to Leeds. I think they really look forward to the contest and yeah, we're, we're looking to see some of that positivity sort of rub off when we, when we run in tomorrow. How tough is it for you as a coach at the moment, given that you're not working probably with the players you expect to be working with, given the injuries and I guess you're having to mend and make do a lot of the time. It, it, does it make it even harder for you to do your day-to-day -day job? Well, it doesn't really. I mean, it can be frustrating because you know you know your team can do way better if they had all their players on the field. But when you've been around the game long enough, you realise that you know teams do go through these patches, and it, it's not pleasant. And you know we're a pretty easy target at the moment, and that's fine. Uh, I, I know we'll build ourselves back up, and we'll get some players back, and you know we'll we'll, we'll have a better, hopefully a better uh, end of the fini uh, finish to the season. But right now. It's, it's about making sure whoever plays does the absolute best job and as a coach that's all I can ask. And I guess because Super League is so compact at the minute, a couple of wins on the ladder and all of a sudden you are looking very much looking upwards again. Yeah look it can change quickly for us, absolutely it can. Um, you know and we've been a bit frustrated with ourselves in recent weeks considering some of the chances that we might have let slip. Um, but. You know, it's no good looking back to be honest. We've got to look forward and we're looking forward to Leeds this week and um, I think everyone's pretty energised considering it's a bit of a turnaround and um, short turnaround and definitely keen to go in the head of Leeds. And just finally, obviously England are wanting to win the World Cup and we, we were looking at different methods of allowing us to do that. Do you look at the schedule that the players are going through and think, wow, that's quite hectic because you come from the NRL and they don't play anywhere near as many games in a short space of time? No, they don't. But I think traditionally it's been similar in this, this country for a long time, you know, and everyone sort of understands if you come over here to do it. Um, I think I think they'll get a lot of benefit out of the game England in, 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 in Australia against Samoa. I really believe that's a that's a positive step for, for the coach and the RFL to sort of take that opportunity to get a game because after coaching Fiji I realise that um, you know, every game you get with your team and you get with your best players is another significant step forward to, to getting closer to, to probably everyone working as close as you can to maximum um, productivity. And Jermaine is in as well, you must be proud of that even though you're going to miss him for a game but it's a tremendous achievement for him to get selected again. Yeah, he, he's been good for us Jerry, you know, he had a little quad strain a couple of weeks ago but come back from that really strong, his last couple of weeks have been really good. Um, I think he was pretty sound. I know the coach was pretty happy with him in the Four Nations last year, so he's kept his spot in the squad. And um, like I said to the other boys that play too in, in the game, he's the hardest player in the game, and Jerry does it as good as anyone, so he thoroughly deserves his spot.